Welcome back to part four of the Heriot Way in the North Yorkshire Dales National Park. Myself and my friend Steph begin the day in the clag and the drizzling rain. We head out onto the moors, a moon-like landscape, as we slowly make our way towards the town of Reeth and then on to Grinton. This is the fourth day on the trail. Right, let's go for it. It's five o'clock in the morning now and it has just stopped raining. Oh, my tent, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> my tent bared up really well with one exception, and I did have a bit of a leak in the night. Um, and that's my own fault, because where I seam sealed it, I didn't do it properly. So user error has to come into it. Um, the attachment where the guy line is, and where I was sleeping, it was towards my feet, started leaking, I tried to and um, repair that with gaffer tape and tenacious tape but it just wasn't sticking um, and then I put my my empty meal packet underneath where it was dripping and it's caught all the drips <laughs> ingenious I mean of course I, I would rather it didn't drip but I have got some seam sealing at home and lesson learnt the hard way so that's not a fault with a tent that's that's used ever oh Steph is up she's awake she's happy there she is she's doing her thing um, yeah, coffee, get dressed, pack up the tent in the wet. There you go, that's how it happens sometimes. You've got to roll with the weather and just be grateful that you wake up breathing. <laughs> oh, come on, brain, engage. Right, I'll see you folks in a bit. It's coming up to 6.30 now, we've packed away a soggy wet tent and we've skimmed the area, made sure we've taken all our rubbish with us, leave no trace as always. Unfortunately there have been other people while camping here that have left um, scars on the land because they've had open fires and there's obviously a bit of litter around which is a shame um, but it happens doesn't it unfortunately. Just remember guys if you come out somewhere beautiful treat it with respect and always take your rubbish home with you and don't leave any damage to the environment and natural habitat. I know I bang on about leave no trace, but I really mean it. Don't ruin it for other people. We're gonna hit the trail soon and our plan today is to head towards Reef, followed by Grinton. And Steph and I have had a little chat and we're thinking about spending a night in the youth hostel there, either in a dormitory or a private room. Um, it'll be our last night tonight, so we thought we might um, opt for a little bit of comfort. But we'll see, we'll make our mind up as the day goes on. But so far so good, it's stopped raining. Just a little bit of light drizzle at the moment, which we can cope with.
these are the remains of the old gang mill head. So I think that'll be a good spot for the break. I concur. The track that we're on is taking us past this old lead smelting mill. It's quite a substantial settlement. <laughs> Even got that still there. The bosses that we passed, unfortunately, we couldn't get in. They had padlocks on the door. That was me thinking we might escape some drizzle. Let's show you around, shall we? This is pretty, pretty neat. Just below is a hamlet of Hilor. That's our next destination on the trail. There's not much there. There's no pub, there's no shop or anything, but there might be a bench where we can sit down and have a natter for five minutes and rest our weary feet. Hooray! The sun has finally come out and it's getting nice, roasty toasty already. We're just having a quick sit down. I took my shoes off to let my feet breathe. Steph's got a jet boil on and she's boiling up some water for both of us. Isn't that kind? So we can have a nice hot brew each. And uh, yeah, I'm just sort of looking all the stuff in my bag to work out what's actually dry and what's not and try and keep that separate at the moment. Overall, not too bad. Um, despite the fact that the tent did have a leak last night, I seem to have come off quite well. Um, I do now know what I need to do to the tent to make sure it's waterproof in the future. So, Lesson learned. How are you feeling, Steph? Good. Yeah, all good. What uh, choice of beverage have you gone with? I've gone with the toffee nut latte. Can't complain, can you? No, nope, I didn't get any better than this. <laughs> so we've dropped off the moorland now. Quite a sharp descent. And then our next destination will be Reef. Am I saying that correctly? Reef, yeah. Reef, like teeth, but we're spelt with an R at the front. And we're going to go and grab some lunch. Maybe, yeah. Uh, have a little look around, see what there is to see, and then possibly on to Princeton and get a room at the youth hostel tonight and dry out all our stuff properly, which would be really lovely. And that will take us to the end of day four, which is technically the end of section three if we follow the guidebook. Right, enough waffling, more tea drinking. It's taken us about 30 to 40 minutes to reach reef from Hilo, little hamlet we just visited. We've got a fresh bakery over there. Probably one of the more quieter towns, but it's definitely got good vibes about it. Public toilets over there, 20p a piddle. We've decided to have lunch at the Black Ball Hotel, traditional Yorkshire pub. Here we go, last stretch of the fourth day. And we are now leaving Reef after having a nice hearty lunch at the Black Ball Hotel. And then we chilled out for a bit on the green and had a nice hot cup of coffee from the local post office, which was really nice. So we are, we are full of energy and ready to go for our last tiny stretch. We're going to sleep in a bed tonight not camping can you believe it um i've managed to book us into a dormitory at the yha in grinton which is about a mile and a half uphill and is on our route so 
that's where we will finish this day. However, if you were doing the itinerary from the guidebook, uh, Reef is technically where you finish day three. Behind me is Grinton. There's a church and a pub here. For some reason, I thought this was going to take us a bit longer, but it is quite literally a 10 minute walk from Reef over a flat field. It looks good.